Hello friends, foes, and allies. Welcome to another YouTube video where I exercise. Today, high volume legs. We're into a bit of a bodybuilding block. I told Lars I wanted to improve my conditioning again and improve my body composition, let's say. Uh, early prep for Royal Albert Hall. I put something out yesterday. I want to reiterate it here. I see world's strongest man as a responsibility to turn up as the world's strongest man at competitions moving forward. I don't really see it as something where I can rest on my laurels. Um, and there's gonna be people at Royal Albert Hall who have saved up a lot of money to come see us and, and who work very hard and might not be able to go out very often. Like Kobe said, there's gonna be someone there who's seen me for the first time and they deserve to see the best version of me. Uh, I don't peak particularly hard. Uh, I'll be able to be at my best a lot of times this year and I aim to do that. So really looking forward to that. That's on my mind while I'm training here. Um, but yeah, we're gonna kick it off. We got three by eight squats. We've got some leg press. My phone's dead. I don't know exactly my program. So I'm gonna try to go as best I can off memory, but week one, you never really know. So let's see how I go. How badly do you want a squat event in a comp? It would be good. Like, I think, I think that'd be solid. I look at my teams, it was like 350 for 10 or something. Absolutely ridiculous. But squat for reps is just something that I've always been able to grind about really hard. And my squat's pretty good. But what it's your sleeves, I've doubled 800 in sleeves. Yeah, it's good, not amazing, but good. What are some cues for squats? I was just thinking that number one, Number one thing, if you squat well, you should feel tension right here. You should feel that you're sitting into your proximal hamstring. It's a difficult combination between a slight anterior pelvic tilt when you brace, sorry, posterior pelvic tilt when you brace, and holding that to sit into the hamstrings and not allowing your butt to completely fold under you. If it folds under you, your knees are shooting too far forward, we're becoming more knee dominant, becomes a very quad heavy squat. You know it's a quite heavy squat if you see your knees pushing well forward. To me, it's not an injury risk at all, but it certainly is an overutilization of one muscle over another, where all the best squatters in the world will be here. Virtually vertical shin, nice and wide knees, and driving with the posterior chain. How does it feel to be in somewhat of a regular routine again? It's not, it's not at all. No, Ash and I this weekend were like 12 hour days trying to get these t-shirts all sorted out. And uh, we now are all sold out. So we're, we're having to work to reorder, <laughs> to reorder the uh, more shirts. And we've got three limited edition World's Strongest Man shirts yeah. that'll be out on my socials before this video comes out. Yeah. One is uh, Mitchell Hooper, World's Strongest Man, with my signature on the back. Yeah. One is Team Moose, World's Strongest Man, with a big moose and my signature on the back. And the third is King Crab, a crab <laughs> with a it. crown holding a shield. Yeah, how good. Oh, I love it. I'm so into it. <laughs> Just some casual constant tension squats. Just getting them over with, to be honest. Yeah. It's not programmed that way. Just tedious, tedious. That's how the world's strongest man squats, five plates. This is, by the way, 
if I had the choice to train yoke or hit squats hard to be good at yoke, I'd always squat. I'd be more comfortable going into a comp with a big squat peak rather than a big yoke peak. I hate these so much. What's what's the main focus for this block, I guess? Like, leading into... Well, well. It, well, it's a combination of, like, being prepared to perform my best and a bit of hypertrophy work. Like, like I said, improve conditioning a bit, resensitize to heavier strength training, let the joints and tendons recover. Even though I feel pretty good, oftentimes an incident happens upstream from starting to feel bad. So a little bit safer, but I'll still have like the event simulator, which I can't say yet, but the events will be in my training moving forward. Is there any like specific movements, I guess, or like any weaknesses or like anything that you're trying to improve during the slot? It's so tough now, isn't it? Yeah. Like I'm trying to think of weaknesses. I might, I might say like maybe a grip endurance or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I came third at, in, at the Hercules and Royal Albert Hall. So. I don't know. I think that's something that I could certainly benefit a lot from though, is improved grip strength. Yeah. Even if it hasn't come out yet. Even things like arm over arm, you can change your technique, your strategy, if your hands are stronger. Yes. But, yeah, dumbbell's still a weakness for me. Just because you perform well at something once, I yeah. don't think you can start saying like, now I'm great at it. Yes. Um, but certainly instills a lot of confidence. It's just, genuinely, it's just improving overall. I still think I have a long way to go. I still don't think I'm close. And I think that's why I still have the fire. I was sort of expecting if I won Worlds to feel like, okay, I've done it. Now what? But it's it's more so, it's more so like I, I'm still not at my best and I'm most interested in my best. So I'll continue pushing to that. And I, I think until I feel like I'm there, I don't envision stopping and I don't think I'll get there for a few years yet. Yeah, no, it's, it's just crazy. So. Yeah. Like the reporters, the most common question is like, are you going to try to defend the title? I just think I, I've hardly got started. Do you know? Imagine. Imagine we just peace. Just retire. Like, that's, okay. what, that's what Colin, Colin told me in my post-victory speech. He told me this after like event three. I was like, Colin, shut your mouth. He said, in your post-victory speech, could you please retire just to take the piss out of everyone? Oh, crazy that Lasha has snatched this. Okay. Channel Lasha. Oh. Okay. Oh. Ah. It's actually not too bad. In terms of movements, I attribute my deadlift improvements to snatch grips as much as anything. It just exposes a weak bottom position so much. My legs are feeling it though.
Oh, what were we saying? We're just talking about how um, well, I don't particularly like celebrations for something like this because I think I have such an innate understanding of why, why someone is so strong. Yeah. And so many of the variables are out of your control. Yeah. Like you still have to do the work, sure. But very, very, very few people would ever have the opportunity to be this strong, no matter how hard you work. Yeah. And I think it paints a really bad picture for a lot of people that like the hardest worker wins. Or if you work hard enough, you'll get to a certain level. All you can do is work hard to expose your genetics, but your genetics are not in your control. So for me, it's like, it's a weird thing to take pride in doing uh, athletic events. And not, not, not take pride, but uh, take identity in it, I suppose. Yeah, oh, it's understandable. Like because 99% uh, of people, 99.99% of people should just, just purely have the goal to make themselves better. And I don't want people to get from me that like if you work really hard for a few years, uh, you could do it too. I've seen a couple comments about that, but again, you've never you never came out and said that either. Like you've never you never said that you can do this exact thing as well. It's, yeah, yeah. The message yeah. from the beginning has always been just do do more than you're currently doing. Yeah, just be a little bit better today. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Just be good enough. Yeah. But I think other people interpret it that way. Yeah. Yeah. Laws said to me once, like, I hope people don't get too inspired by you, <laughs> because and that's what I said. That's why I'm just so lucky, and that's why I feel such a responsibility to pass on as much as I can and to give back as much as I can because I'm receiving a disproportionate amount from the world at the moment yeah. and you're like in my head like the debt builds and builds and builds and you gotta something to give back because if you don't give more than you receive in your life then you're a bit of a drain on the world yeah. everyone's been asking are you single no Will you be single anytime soon? Fuck no. Okay, there you go. You have you have the answer, people. Almost made it through. Rep six. Rep twenty two. That is full on. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I can't actually feel much. <laughs> Ready? Another drip. <laughs> but Mitchell, what about bloodborne disease? I don't care. I'll be fine. Doing them single-legged. I'm not super happy with my symmetry. Ha! What's that? With your what? Symmetry. Oh. Ah. So that's my right leg. And watch, watch my left at 20. Easy? Yeah. We'll get there. What do you think that's from? I don't know. I think we all have those little habits. Like I'm sure I step up on every step with my left first. I'm sure when I'm carrying objects, I always favor my left. The same thing is if you watch the fingers finger, you'll notice that I think it's my left hand. I always get good, I get good distance with one hand and then the other hand just sort of catches up. And so little things like that, I think just subconscious. But you gotta be aware of them so they don't build up over time. Because you dumbbell with your left hand and not your right. Yes, that's it. Bingo. Oh boy. It's not even. It's a tough one because it's not even a sexy muscle to work. You're like, if you got great hamstrings, I'm pretty sure no one gives a shit. But like, if it was biceps and it's burning, you're like, oh. Nice, Ash is gonna love this.
sets of 20. Yeah. That's going to feel fun. It hurts the shins as much as anything, to be honest. Thank you for watching it, man. This whole, it's been a week, so 10 days or something, as world's strongest man. And it's all very humbly. It really hasn't sunk in. But I appreciate each and every one of you, and I look forward a lot to being able to give back a lot to the sport, keep growing things. Follow along the journey. Like, comment, subscribe. Become a member if you can. Let's keep pushing the strength world forward. And looking forward to announcing many, many projects to come. Take care, lift heavy, and be kind.